is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be going through the wwe figures that we need in 2020 part number two i did notice that we did leave some guys out of there and uh two specifically that we're going to start the video off with that i i cannot believe that i completely forgot it really pissed me off that i forgot about them to be honest with you but um let's just go ahead and get started guys plenty of other figures there's going to be some custom figures in here and stuff like that that we're going to show off here today but uh let's go ahead and start off with the viking raiders now, the Viking Raiders have been on our televisions for a long, long time, whether it be NXT, main roster. They've been Raw Tag Team Champions. They've been in the main limelight on Monday Night Raw for a long time now, and we haven't even seen a battle pack of these guys. Now, I don't know what the big deal is. Maybe they're doing new tooling and new things for these guys. I know there's a ton of tattoo graphics they got to get right, you know, accessories, things of that nature for the Viking Raiders. And uh, I think that this is these are figures that we definitely need, and I would definitely say we need elites because of all the details, you know, the tattoo detail, and then the their gear and then their entrances and stuff like that. We definitely do need elites of these guys and I think they would easily be in the top figures of the year if we get elites of these guys and I think we'll get elites of them by the end of the year. These are figures that we definitely desperately need in 2020. The Viking Raiders do lead the way. I cannot believe I left them out. They completely skipped over my brain when I was making the first part of this video so I did want to mention Viking Raiders to start off our part two of figures we need in 2020 but moving on guys I am saying a two-pack of the Undisputed Era of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish in the War Games attire. You guys know we have Roderick Strong from that attire, you know, with the camo, the gray, black, and white with the yellow Undisputed Era all mixed in. Really beautiful figures. These are made by Mac Decals, and these are so gorgeous. I love these so very much. They are epic. I love them so much, and Mac is an absolute beast of a customizer, and these figures are what we need. Not only a two-pack of the Undisputed Era, but we also need an Adam Cole in that same War Games attire. Very big missed opportunity, I believe, from Mattel when we did not get our Elite 71 Adam Cole in this attire. I think this would have been excellent and it would have been perfect to go with our Roderick Strong and then a future two-pack. And I know we're getting a future two-pack from Bill. He even mentioned it. He said that obviously we're getting Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio, but he also said that this year we are also getting another Elite two-pack, not including Finn Balor and AJ Styles. So we are getting a new two-pack. Hopefully it is War Games, Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish. We can get some updated head sculpts. We can get some new attires for those guys and it will be really epic and you know it'll give us something to get outside of the Undisputed Era 3 pack because the epic moments Undisputed Era 3 pack is the only way you can even get elites of Bobby Riley or Kyle or Bobby Riley by Bobby Fish or Kyle O'Reilly so we definitely do need figures of those guys. Next up guys is another NXT talent. We actually have a couple NXT talents coming forward right here actually a pretty good amount of them here but anyways let's get into it guys. We have Angel Garza another NXT talent that I do expect to see in 2020 whether it's just a basic or not you know we have seen him for the end of 2019 and then on into it may even been the middle of 2019 when we first saw him but I do have a custom up on the screen I don't know who it is I will plug their name once uh, you know I get it going if I can even find that custom again but Angel Garza is another guy that we do need you know uh, he just won the Cruiserweight Championship in a fantastic match with Leo Rush which I included in my first video I said that Leo Rush was probably one of my main ones to see in 2020 uh, he is definitely one of my favorite talents and I think that he is excellent we definitely need a Leo Rush Rush, and then uh, Angel Garza would be somebody to follow that. So Angel Garza is definitely on my list. Also in that first video, I did mention an Elite Matt Riddle and Keith Lee, which I almost put in this video. I was like, no, I, I did mention that. So Elites of both of those guys would be excellent. But Angel Garza is the next guy. We also have Damian Priest. Now, Damian Priest is a guy that I'm not really big on. I don't think that, you know, I, I, I don't know. He's pretty solid in the ring, but he just reminds me of Trash Corbin in a lot of ways. I do think he's better than Trash Corbin, but I'm not the biggest Damian Priest fan. Hopefully he'll grow on me but right now I'm not feeling it. I don't think he's near as trash as Corbin, but Damian Priest is a guy I think I'd like a figure of. I think he'd be some cool parts to use for customs. I think he'd be make for a really good base for other characters and other, you know, creator wrestlers or something like that if you wanted to do that. But um, Damian Priest is definitely included here. You know, he has put on some solid matchups and I would like to see him featured. Maybe even just a basic would be cool and making him into an elite or something like that would be awesome. So Damian Priest did make the list. Another guy on the list, guys, is Dominic Dijakovic. Very talented talented, tall wrestler. Again, not the biggest fan of him. I think he's pretty cool, though. I think he's excellent as far as his height and his size. I think that he put on great matches with Keith Lee. I'm just not, I don't know what it is um, about certain guys. It's just, you know, when you see a guy and you just, you know, you just don't feel him. That's kind of how I feel about him and Damian Priest. It's just, I'm not, I'm not big on him. I really can't tell you why. It's, I think they, good, they do pretty good work in the ring. I think Dijakovic is a freak in the ring. He's a fantastic athlete and stuff like that. I'm just not a fan of his character in NXT, you know, how he's portrayed 
and maybe that'll be changed in the future or something, but right now, not the biggest fan of him. However, I think he'd be a really awesome figure. I think he'd be a massive guy, and maybe they could put him in a faction as a heel uh, on the main roster or something like that. It would be really cool to see him uh, pair up with somebody or somebody like that would be really cool, but a figure we need is Dominic Dijakovic, and I think that uh, a, you know, a really big figure of him would be really cool, especially all of the tights detail he has and stuff like that would be awesome, but that is our next guy. The next guy we have is actually two people, and we have updated versions of the Fashion Police, Fandango and Tyler Breeze. They're NXT, you know, sort of just uh, re revitalization of those two guys. We could have updated figures of those guys. Obviously, we saw them back in Elite Series 61, but since then, Fandango looks different. Tyler Breeze looks different. I think we need a new torso for Fandango. I mean, my God, is he that jacked? I love Fandango to death. I love Tyler Breeze, but we definitely need a new Fandango dango torso if, if we're gonna be honest with each other but um an updated tyler breeze basic or battle pack of these two guys from nxt maybe with you know the, the obviously we'd have to we'd have to have the shorter hair for tyler breeze that would be excellent that would be perfect that would flow right in with our fandango and that would update it. i honestly would want a tyler breeze more than fandango but if we're gonna get tyler breeze you might as well throw fandango in with it so updated uh nxt versions of fandango and tyler breeze would be excellent i would love to see that even if it's just basics just to get some updated head sculpts. You could pop the head sculpts under your elite figures. I have an, uh, an elite fix-up of Fandango where I switched out his arms and his torso. Looks a lot better. You know, not that freak of nature torso they gave him. So, uh, I gave him a Randy Orton torso. I think it looks way better in my personal opinion. Or the Dolph Ziggler torso. It doesn't have tattoos on it. But there is Fandango and Tyler Breeze. A couple of women's figures that I would love to see in 2020, guys. We have Candice LeRae here. And Candice LeRae is so awesome. I think that she's a great talent. Um, I, I want to go ahead and include Tony Storm in this as well. I think she would be an awesome figure. And Mia Yim. I think all three of these ladies definitely need figures. And I I can pretty much guarantee maybe Tony Storm would be an elite. I feel like she has a pretty good following. I feel like Mattel and Bill know how big like Tony Storm is. People love Tony Storm. So I think that uh, she would probably get an elite over uh, over the other two. But uh, I could definitely see basics of these three ladies for 2020. Even if they're just announced, maybe we'll see renders of them at San Diego Comic Con. And that's probably what we'll see. You know, we pretty much have the next few series of basics and battle packs and elites uh, already leaked, so we kind of know what's coming forward, but at the same time, you know, by the summertime, we'll have new renders and stuff like that, and then you have exclusives and, you know, different network spotlight sets and stuff like that that just kind of pop out of nowhere, and that will probably lean some of these guys into the set, especially if we get the Target NXT series continued. I think it got discontinued, but maybe they'll start up a new set or some sort of craziness like that, but Candice LeRae, Mia Yim, and Tony Storm are three ladies I would love to see in figure form for 2020, and and again, we may not see it to the summer with San Diego Comic-Con and render images, but if uh, we were going to get them in 2020, that is probably the time that we would see them at least um, as far as renders go, not, you know, fully made figures. Now, for the last guy on the list, at least I think this is the last guy on the list, not including Finn Balor from NXT, which I think I included in my last video. I'm going to say Humberto Carrillo. Now, Humberto is a guy that I think is really good in the ring. Again, just like Dijakovic and Damian Priest, I'm not huge on their characters. I really don't know what it is. I would much rather see Rey Mysterio. I would much rather see Andrade Cien Almas. I would much rather see Angel Garza, I think, over uh, Humberto, but I still think that, you know, he's super talented inside the ring, and I think that he should get a figure made. I know I've seen some fantastic fantastic customs from DWO Customs. I've seen some other customs, I think, from somebody else. I'd have to go back and look. But I know some people around the community have made customs of him, and he is really talented in the ring. So these guys, um, all completed on this list, I think, are guys that we need. Especially, if I had to pick, you know, five figures from this, I think I would probably go Viking Raiders for two of them. I'd go probably the two-pack from the War Games for Undisputed Era. And then lastly, I think I would probably go... Uh, probably Adam Cole from War Games as well, just to figure out the, that top five right there. But the rest of these guys, I think we will see some of them in 2020. I know it's taken a, just a shit ton of time before we've seen Viking Raiders figures. We still have not seen them after they've been on the roster for so very long. Absolutely ridiculous how long it's been since we've seen anything for them. I don't even think I've heard news on them. I think it's in the works, but you know, you never really know with Mattel. Obviously, we know they're in the company. They can have figures made. We know that um, they've been on in the company for a while. We know they've had face scans and all that stuff, so I really don't know what the weight is for Viking Raiders figures, whether they be ba uh, basics, battle packs, 
or elites, but elites I think would be what everybody would want, and I don't think that they're really rumored for at least the next two or three series, so hopefully in Elite Series 79 or 80, we get ourselves some Viking Raiders, and I would imagine they would be coming, but we still haven't even seen renders of the guys, so I guess anything is possible, guys, but I think that does it for my WWE figures we need in 2020 Part 2. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If I missed out on any other talent you guys think should be in the uh, Part 3, maybe we can do a Part 3. I don't think I missed anybody, but if I did, definitely let me know about some guys that, you know, take up good TV time that we need updated figures or we need nude figures or we need NXT figures up. Please let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Actually, one just hit me in the brain. Tyler Bate. We need an updated Tyler Bate. Go ahead and book that one as well. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Kick their ass.